state of Florida will take on one of the largest pharmacies in court. The state will try to prove Walgreens helped fuel the state's opioid epidemic. And on your side, Xavier Harris joins us now live from the Pasco County Courthouse. That's where the trial is going to be taking place. Good morning, Xavier. Yeah, good morning, Chris. That trial is set to begin at 9 o'clock this morning here at the Pasco County uh, Courthouse and is led by Attorney General Ashley Moody, who says it is time that Walgreens is held accountable. Now, the state will try and prove this morning that Walgreens played a role in fueling the opioid crisis in Florida. At the center of the state's argument, data the AG's office says shows Walgreens distributors sold over 2.2 million opioid tablets to one single store in Hudson, a town with 12,000 people. Another example is the state claims Walgreens supplied over a quarter million doses of oxycodone to a pharmacy in a town of 3,000 people. But Walgreens isn't backing down releasing a statement saying we are prepared for trial. Now Walgreens is the only pharmacy taking this case to trial. Other pharmacies like CVS agreeing to a $870 million settlement which $484 million is going to the state and state officials say that money will be used for drug rehabilitation and treatment programs. This morning we're live in Pasco County. Xavier Harris 8 on your side.